Today we are looking at a Nexus Union CNC cylindrical grinder with dual wheel heads that has been completely remanufactured from casting to the finished electrical cabinet. They have done all of the wiring, lube lines, pneumatic lines, all are new on this machine. They have 60 horsepower marathon motors for the wheel heads. However, they are limited to 40 horsepower based on the drives that they have. You are seeing the table, which is driven by a ball screw and nut with a connect servo motor. The first head, which I will walk over here, has a four inch wide by 30 inch diameter wheel and it is an in-feeding axis with a ball screw and servo motor by Canuck. The second wheel head has a 3 inch wheel by 30 inch diameter which is on its separate z-axis slide so it is a two-axis movement both by ball screws and Canuck servo motors. The work head has a Yasakawa servo motor. Lou is running the machine for us. It has a Fanuc OITD control, which has graphics for both heads. On top of the control, you can see another screen, which is the SBS dynamic balancing system for both heads. We are warming up the heads as we speak and this is balanced during the operation of the machine. And you can see the control. The control has a manual pulse generator and is on a slide for the operator to move it back and forth and it also swivels. This hydraulic unit is for work head number two. The weight covers are in excellent condition other than just being a little dirty. The machine has fixators underneath, secured by epoxy or concrete, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it once we open it up. Here are the drivers that'll come with the machine. You can see the Fanuc servo motor for the z-axis slide for the second wheel. The first and second wheel are on the same base. The machine will be split in the middle for disassembly. They're on the back side of the machine. The electrical cabinet is brand new and everything inside the cabinet is brand new. I have some photos of that but don't want to open it up while we're in operation. The back side of the machine you can see the scale each axis of this machine has a Fagor air purged scale. Way loop tank will stay secure to the base of the machine. We are now moving the Z axis for the second work head. I've had the weight covers back and have photos of everything underneath, extremely clean. You can see how the main wheel head here is on the same base as this wheel head here, second wheel head. On the back side you have your coolant recovery system here that goes down to the tank and through a paper filtration system and out the top. The hydraulic unit has new Parker Hannafin components and Lisan electric motors. Tail stock. Here are some covers for the work area for the operator. I'm coming across here to the pumps. for the machine. A very clean work environment. Uh, Lou is here, the operator of the machine that ran this machine during its time and they can hold one tenth 
and they've done parts where they've had a hold of six or eight finish, which was no problem for the machine. Max swing on the machine is 24.6 inches. The main grinding wheel will cover 152 inches. The second wheel covers 138 inches. You can use both wheels at the same time to come in to plunge and rough grind a part out, come back, finish with the main wheel, come over with the second wheel and grind papers. There is a probe on the machine which is strictly for both grinding wheels where you can come in and pull both sides of the wheel, the face of the wheel, to check any tapers in the wheel. It has an automatic diamond dresser which calculates the wear in the dresser for the wheels as well. And we're just getting the machine fired up, work heads warmed up. The machine is 42 feet long. The overall width with the coolant tank system is approximately 20 feet deep. We have all the books, manuals, schematics for the machine. I have still photographs for the machine. We have the two pillow blocks for the machine as well. And we'll walk around to show you the probe and the dressers. There's the diamond dresser. They have put the electrical under the floor. It does not need to be there. However, that is up to the installation of the machine and how you want it configured on the floor. The electrical cabinet looks fantastic, looks brand new. I'm going to open it up as we are running the machine. And back along the blue. We have three additional wheels that are new, and we have a total of four hubs. Thank you for your time.